Today we're going to be talking about the new Netflix original show, Omniscient, so let's get started. Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I love to watch movies. I also love to watch Netflix. If you guys do too, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Today we're going to talk about the new Brazilian Netflix show called Omniscient and I thought it was originally called Omniscient plenty of times in the show, but I heard the characters in the show call it Omniscient, so that's what I will be calling it for this review. Nina works for a company called Omniscient. She lives in a city where drones are assigned to every person and every second of their life is documented. One day, Nina returns home from work to discover that her father had been murdered. The problem is that the system did not create a notification for the crime. Nina decides to take the laws into her own hand and investigate her father's murder. This is a really short series, about six episodes long, about 45 to 50 minutes each. In the first episode, it seems like it's going to be a murder mystery of who killed her father. This company is covering it up. They are not allowing for her to see the footage from these little tiny drones that just follow everybody around. And if there is a crime that is happening, these little drones will report it. Well, the drones did not see this murder, even though he was shot in the back. So she decided to take the matters into her own hands. The show, unfortunately, does quickly shift its focus into these uh, little drones and how it affects people's lives and the security and safety around that, while still trying to have that mystery in the background and telling you who did it at the end, even though you kind of already see it coming. The shift from it being a murder mystery to this company with its security and its privacy at times made me lose what I was intrigued about the show in the first place. I was intrigued behind this world where all these drones are following everybody and then we had this mystery where this person was murdered and we don't know and we're trying to figure it all out. About middle half of the series, it loses its steam and its interest for me as it kind of slows down a little bit and starts to focus on other things as well and other characters that really don't do much for this series. But it quickly shifts into portraying this new world and the lives of the people within it. And that's where all these different characters come into play and kind of take away from that murder mystery and all of the intrigue that was originally set up in the first episode. This is a world where you don't have to explain how you got where you're at. They have these drones that just follow you around. Nina is developing a lot of these codes for these little drones. Crime rate has dropped. They don't have to explain a lot of things about this world and why they needed all these different drones because there are times where I think that this world does feel a little bit realistic and we're almost there. Honestly, I could see us having these drones just following us around at any point in the near future. But the world is set up really nicely and realistic. And how the characters interact with the drones, it all seems normal to them and it feels normal to us as well. Nina is a really interesting character. She's kind of by the books person in the first few episodes. So it is intriguing to watch how she reacts to certain things and how she takes matters into her own hands and tries to, and breaks the law several times throughout the series. I think she's an enjoyable character. And even though the series is short with six episodes, you do enjoy watching her character throughout the show. There are episodes that I found to be really intriguing, especially some of the first couple episodes. It does unfortunately lose its charm and its intrigue towards the later part of the series. And when they reveal the culprit at the end, you just don't have that shock and awe that you would hope for. I thought I would feel that at the beginning of the series. I was interested to see how the whole show would pan out, but when we got to the end and they revealed everything, you kind of saw it coming, but also it just lacked that shock value that I wanted because it kind of dived away from that murder mystery in the middle half of the series. Overall, Omniscient has a good idea behind it. It's something that we've seen before with technology kind of taking over a world and how citizens kind of have to just live and deal with it. But Omniscient definitely does a good job of building up this world and the drones and 
having some initial intrigue, but unfortunately does lose it along the way. The characters are interesting. There are some side characters that I still don't know what was the point of them in the first place, but it starts off strong and ends up weak. I'm gonna go ahead and give Omniscient Season 1 a C+. Thank you guys for getting my review for Omniscient. It is on Netflix now. Have you guys seen it? What you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about the show. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.